tinkling, clearing, coming in. A lot of very high anxiety energies clearing to come and be here. So if you're feeling this for yourself, it's a release. Firstly, thank you for coming with so much everything that you're all going through. So many people are off doing what they need to go through. So really do thank you all for coming in here. And I sincerely mean this. So take a breath in a moment to take a breath in. And release slowly out. Here we go. Again, thanks for showing up very much. because <clears throat> we are really heading towards the 21st of the 12th as an energy event, <laughs> whereas it's about you being your event, always, always you first within everything else that we're bringing through with humanity. And now we're all coming together and we're gathering this actually officially energetically commenced recently so I, what I'm going to do today um, in showing up and bringing in that live feed of energies of what to bring through and processing from my spirit through my soul and, and verbalizing and voicing is taking that moment and having trust and faith and, and having that space to allow and as you all come in now and settle in with your energies. We're all masters here. And we're doing some major, major new uniting of energies in coming here today. So, again, it keeps coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The thank yous are really, really big from spirit. Thank you for being here, thank you. Um, this is beyond energies. These are the beyond energies where um, it surprised me this morning. I'm still sitting with the Blue Beyond Guide will still be the Blue Beyond Guide. However, Spirit is is showing to put Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide, Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide. So I may be adding the Anastasia before. It's not a personal. <laughs> Anastasia means of the resurrection. Anastasia. So please look out if that happens or not. I always table and share everything that's coming through with you so you can see that what comes sometimes it will be implemented and sometimes it will not all shift. So as I'm voicing, it shows you that going with the flow is that full faith and trust in yourself. I'm just sending so much higher heart love to you all. I've shifted to a new higher heart space and I will remain in this space and beyond until the 21st of 12. So personally, um, Michael and Joey who I live with and, and those closest to me, I am unable energetically to get involved or go anywhere personally with anyone. So if anyone messages or sends me an emails and there's no reply energetically, is um, not able to. There's just so much happening and it's, it's the biggest mirror for you of anything that you may pick up um, from here. It's always been like that. I'm a mirror, mirror of the divine, yet more so I'm in this higher heart space and many of you said even my voice sounds different, my energy feels different, and this is the why. So, hello, Miss Joanne, Miss Lisa, Natalie, Krista. Oh, thank you, Sister Vicky. Hello, William. Hey, Rhonda. I'm glowing, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's this higher heart space. Um... And I'm anchoring it in, so I need to remain in this space. Hey, Debbie, 
I wanted to talk to you soon, sweetheart. So I guess this is it. I was sending Debbie Brady, I was sending love and strength to you and up up there, darling. So I'm glad you felt it. Thank you, Krista. Thank you for being here too. Thank you. Thank you. Hi Tracy. Tarika. Pictures changing. Here we go. Amy. Blessed to be here too. Hey Carrie. Hey Trisha. Good morning, Miss Colleen. Oh, sun setting. Enjoy that, Amy. Northern Illinois, Diane Plunkett. Morning, Sherry Marie. Oh, thank you, Amy. Love the cup. <laughs> Hello, Tina. Hi, Zach. How are you, beautiful? Okay, here we go, brothers and sisters. I'm going to hook straight in and say that if we're not exchanging with en energy with others in some way, we can, become, we can become very stagnant energetically with our ascension growth. So what I'm saying today is everything has to be, nothing can be taken out of context here. Everything has to be kept together in here. It's a very divine sacred space. So there's been some very clear certainties that I've been let known of that we need to communicate and interact with others or we become stagnant energetically with our growth. That is the message that's been coming over and over and over. So all of those, uh, we're, most of us are lone wolves. A lot of us are lone wolves and done so much behind the scenes for uh, with ourselves. And I see in different comments in other posts, people writing, I've been doing this since the 60s or 70s or 80s and I'm really tired and worn out and like, I hear you, I'm, I'm tired boss, I'm tired, I hear you. Yet, you know, we a lot of us have waited for a long time for these times i know you know this and now is the time for us to start communicating okay and uniting with other energies and this is another platform for those of you masters which a lot of people don't are not realizing you are masters in your own right stepping into super master energies you wouldn't be here with this today if you were not okay a lot of people are finding they can't see others videos now they've they're noticing that there's other souls that are doing videos for thousands and 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 recently we were able to watch them but now they're saying that energy vibration they're no longer to watch these other beautiful souls so people are saying things are changing big 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 shift and I want to keep to the basic words here I want to keep to the basic words yes Bella much love to all women warriors grounding in this amazing energies absolutely the 21st of the 12th we're bringing in a new divine feminine connection energy we're also bringing new rainbow serpent energy that the tribal elders are bringing through there is much happening on the 21st but it's not just one day. It's not one day. It, it started eons ago. That's led up to, um, and I've shared before, and I'll share it again, that I anchored it in the Cosmic Consciousness Conference, um, January 2019. All this year, I've already brought in several Uluru visions and, and, and meditations. That's all been gifted here. It's all here. Anything else before, any questions that you may ask, please see previous ones. We've got to keep moving. We've got to keep moving, okay? Bless Bella. Hi Tim, good to see you darling. Hi Kylie, love and blessings back to you. So, hi my name is Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide and I write as I speak. I come from divine unconditional love, truth and honesty and all I share needs to be kept together so as not to be taken out of energy context and therefore the flow of the divine real flowing energy coming through and reading and listening now I've been sharing about energy changes and it's all on record in live videos and updates on the Blue Beyond Guide and website I was going to share about how much we need to interact with others by uniting or in unity with other loving souls this is how we ascend and grow literally both in human and spirit energies as there are two of you one here one in spirit there's another you double master just sit with that as we keep going just sit with that okay it's one of you that is linked to your higher self that 
in your quiet times you work with your spirit that's where the the information comes through that's where the dreams and the visuals and everything happens that's the other you in spirit that's enough for now get out of the head just sit with that you're working double it's challenging balancing two worlds okay and we are the bridge with our heart and our higher heart balancing so in the moment I'm grounded but I'm in my higher heart space I'm in the in-between space holding this space till the 21st till we anchor those energies in I'm very excited I'm very excited because it won't be just me there'll be lots the 144 New Light Paradigm Group souls will be coming on live with a zoom with me to stream out on the 21st of the 12th on here which will be Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide I'll be changing it after today it's official it has come through so it'll be Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide fill into that it's a different feel to the Blue Beyond Guide it is linking Anastasia which is of the resurrection energies Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide all these have been given to me okay I'm just it's hot here in Australia I'm just going to put my fan on Plane takes off every time, that's us. Ah, oh, it's better. I love my chimes. It helps to shift the energies. Okay, see if you can relate to this. We will go through, I've been through it, others are going through it, some have been through it, some will go through it yet, a three day blackout personally. And what I mean by this is Spirit was saying to me, we're going to, and I only share this privately, not publicly. I don't share publicly until I have full proof of everything, of a three day blackout. And someone said, oh, is that when, um, everything's going to shut down in the world and everything like it was in the Bible and others been saying, I'm like, slow down for a minute. When I share something, I wait till I have proof. And quite often what is written and shared in the human being experience is not the same. That's why I say wait and see wait and see with predictions with what people are writing and the spaceships are coming and this is coming and all that stay grounded be very real and conscious this is how we're raising the human collective consciously is how conscious are you and coming from love ah oh, daniel so much love to you i've been sending you so much love i know you're okay but i was i was not concerned but i could feel you're going through something big hey sis Connect in your heart, Tina. You, do, you can be anywhere. Even those in prison have freedom within yourselves. Connect in your heart and right here you're doing it. Okay? So this is a time where you're in lockdown wherever you are, if you are. Is to go inwards to connect. And sometimes it ain't pretty. Hearing, seeing what we need to release because... Okay, let me go back. I won't jump ahead. I'll slow down the energies just looked at some names and messages yes Trisha thank you I am in the new thank you I didn't want to say that um <laughs> thank for real can't hide much from other masters and I've got nothing to hide it's great yes I am in the new I am anchoring in um I'm already in the energies for next year as I shared before I don't know if you remember that I am ahead in what I'm bringing through so I'm in the in-between space So the three day blackout, okay, Krista's saying, I shut down Friday, shut down today. There's your three days. What is also happening is electronics, highway, everything, computer crashed, got it back up. Um, both charges, both went at the same time, never happened. So that was a <clears throat> personal three day blackout. And, uh, okay, there's a big release happening. last three days you slept which is abnormal there you go it's along those lines interesting Chris. another dark night of the soul lays and levels yeah i don't call them that anymore because it's a continual it's continual continual 
Okay, so I'm just going to shift the energies. I'm just balancing and feeling all of your energies in here. So everyone just take a moment and have a look. We've got 63 in here. Take a moment and a breath to appreciate that we're here together. And again, plane's taking off. Can't make it up. So let's just appreciate how far we've come, how long we've waited. Keeping our feet on the ground and our eyes on the stars. Here we go. Big shift coming through. Breathe, feel and release. This is our time together. This is our time together. Yes, Amy. Sick at home, cold and flu symptoms. Tomorrow, third day. Amy, Friday and Saturday, had your shutdown, slept, ate heaps, phone played up. That's it. Okay, beautiful. Right, that's what's going on. So I've needed, and again, this is all divine healing when I talk about myself personally. For those that are not aware, it's for you to uptake whatever it is you need for yourself as a mirror of a mirror. So when people ask certain questions, I'm unable to answer, others I can. It just depends what's going on for you at that time, okay? So this is me navigating the way of both spirit and soul consciously to help you help yourself, Masters. You are the forerunner of your family. There is huge family generational energies and these are words that we've spoken before but I'm stopping and taking in a moment to saying it doesn't happen like that okay there's a lot of old family abuse generation generational patterns that people are right in the core in the middle of that they are breaking them through themselves of feeling broken inside and that's why there's so many layers and levels this is the old third dimensional old karmic energy loops Finishing off with others, and it does take time. Slow down, take a breath. We've got this, and I just love and admire all of you so much that are going through everything that you're going through as well. I am too behind the scenes with everything I'm dealing with. Um, I've been doing this a lot longer consciously in Grandmaster's energy, holding that space, as I say to you, but I'm, 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 I'm by your side as well, okay? So I'm needed to split and farm out my energy to three major platforms to spread, to proceed forward because we went from closed loops of by wave energies of old 3D energy loops that were just going around and around and the negative and the dark would attack because it was closed. It was closed and closed. It was feeding, feeding off the energy, feeding, feeding. And we shifted recently, we shifted. We reached mass consciousness. That means 51% We've reached 51% of people more awake than those not. Please know this was huge, huge, huge. Not everybody's aware of this. Not everybody is ready to understand. Others are working through what they are, but you know, and I'm working with you. So we shifted on the 16th of October, that old karmic cycle energy. Can you feel the energy shifting through you now? Feel it coming down and moving. Can you feel it coming down through your crown? Feel that for yourself? So it shifted from the closed by wave loops to new tri wave open, open trinity energy loops. And this has been no small task. Listen, feel, and read for yourself of a divine healing energy coming through for you to relate for yourself on what you're going through. There is many golden nuggets or keys through here. These are new, what we call Christ Consciousness Grail Codes. As you can see in my picture behind me with Trinity. That's my higher self there, Trinity, with the Grail Cup. There it is, with the DNA strand. I was born with that in me that comes through when I speak. It has taken me a quarter of a century to grow in it and realize and learn and learn. And I say to you, just be you. Okay, and we need to speak up and we need to voice. On the 28th, I shared an emergency breakthrough and I did a video. The gathering has commenced with Uluru. My God, it did. 
It did, it did. With the rock and, and and because I have a very powerful liquid spirit with Uluru, as I said, I've climbed it in 1992 personally. So I'm bringing those th energies through personally. And there we go, big shift. The gathering, all the tribes are coming. They're coming. Ships came, they're here to with energetically to help us with this anchoring this new link. Activating our stomach, our solar plexus to our crown. Big shift happening right now. yourself a moment to process. In my three days, I was collecting old parts and transforming in the news, in the new, and I was also letting go of humanity. It took me quite a lot. And for those three days, I could not actually physically talk to anybody. It was very interesting. Silence. So I was writing, collecting new fragments and old ones and collating together a new high vibration. As we all hold this pure divine space together, we need to, or we don't grow or ascend is the latest message. If we don't do this together, this is what's come through. I'm just stating it and backing off personally, and that's the information. We need to unite to grow and move forward. There are many that are with others, yet they're not joining their personal energy. And in divine unconditional love, please remember I share this because the self-inflated ego really needs to go. This is a 25 year adjustment for me that I'm feeling in this kind of energy because I feel for the whole collective firstly. Keep consciously grounding in this toing and froing between spirit and soul. We are anchoring in a higher heart collective energy of aligning our solar plexus to our crown energy centers. It's also part of the full moon, the blue moon energies blue moon of burning off the dross of layers and layers and as we are we're clearing so many of the old fragments and what we do take with us that's been upgraded and what we do is let go of especially with others old connections while creating the new is a big job do you want me to repeat that again <laughs> there are parts that we're taking with us in the new that are being upgraded there are parts that we are letting go of especially with connections with others, while we're creating the new. I've said in the last one, you're in three worlds, three world energies, three circle, tri-wave, and it's a big process, and it's a big job. Just remember, no matter how long you've been doing this, we really are here in these new energy times, and this is worth it, or you would not be here still. How does that feel for you? Good. I'm feeling you, I'm feeling you, I'm feeling you. The grief, the lungs. And the coughing could be many things. Um, yes, absolutely purging, releasing, releasing the grief, needing to speak up and voice clearing your throat. It could be many things with the coughing. The immune system's really being hammered at the moment. Esteban, the past, present, the future, correct, and the Trinity and the Tri Wave. What's amazing, Esteban? It's beautiful to see that. I like when people write things. It resonates, Andrew. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Love spiders. So do I. Feels big. Yeah. 
So remember, Celia Fan shared that some are recycling around in the illusion of the third dimension as it cracks and collapses. And it's not a comfortable place to be, it's a place of apocalyptic dead ends and fear. And some are heading to what she calls an alternate earth, and I vouch for this as well. Again, I'm so glad Celia said this. Of an alternate earth, of a lower five dimension, Fire. Give me a moment. Some tangled energies. Just give me a moment. I need to take a break. Just processing your energies. Up your vitamin C. Increase whatever you're taking to help you with your moon system. It was a, I will read about Celia's in a minute, but I've been stopped for the moment. I'll need to clear everyone's energies. Um, um, I'm not guided, it's shifting, we're shifting right now. So not to share about that energy, move on. I shared recently two cards from the Cheryl Lee Harnish Return of Spirit and the Manifest card came energetically, everything is falling into place, you're coming to a high point where you'll find you'll be able to manifest the people, things and situations you need to carry you forward on your journey. People are saying, yes, this is happening. Don't worry about the details of what you think, I don't often like to use that word, what like should look like the universe is wiser yes we don't manifest anything that's not of our soul's plan you can expect to experience abundance and ease with these energies it's a great time because a lot of what's happening especially the 21st is about new abundance coming in as well i have a whole list of what the 21st is i will be sharing in the next four weeks please look out for the 21st event with the amazing picture from truth rebel art um that I'll be holding for as many of you to come and join us as possible would be brilliant. Please learn to allow yourself to receive help from others even when you're not used to it. Be consciously aware. The power is in the talking, voicing and sharing in unity. There is a lot to that and people are just starting to understand more now how important it is due to different reasons on your character your nature and everything about you with post-traumatic stress and and the, the abuse and everything that everybody has been through individually everyone's broken everyone's damaged everyone's insane we're in an insane world it's staying sane in it so it's working with our broken bits and there are many tired older warriors yes there are and I had a younger soul who was 22 the other day say but your generations you went through more and you did this and like because a lot of what I share and others have shared what we've gone through and I say hey hang on a minute but if it wasn't for you souls younger you're stronger than us in a way you've got you were born in different energy times and we need your energy it's not about that I don't want you to look that we went through no I mean I could say that about my mother's generation and the other other women before me what they went through of course we, we honor our ancestors and our elders that but 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 you are important sometimes you need to hear this we need to hear this a big area still with many many souls and said so much with so much love are still coming from their head and recognizing when you're coming from your head and your broken bits and that needs to shift so this is a message from spirit spirit is saying very strongly if you do not communicate in love with others in new unity energies and voicing and speaking up you will not ascend in the new earth 5d energies and will be remaining in a lower 5d vibration to assist humanity that way i've just tabled that message don't shoot the messenger with that one okay don't go into fear because if you're here you're already in the new earth energies let it go i'm sending out that message energetically okay breathe 
release, you've got it, you're here, you're with me, I'm with you. The Light Brigade, Guardian Angels, Pleiadian ships, so much assistance came through on the 28th, so take a step back is what I shared for three days for yourself from all others which you've been sharing about. And from Emily Kisvara, the sacred geometry came. Honor yourself as you walk, walk your journey of self-discovery and self-fulfillment. Learn to smile and see each new day as a gift of how precious life is. Reawaken the ancient wisdoms that lie within our blueprint of creation as we've all been here before and are relearning and reawakening to the beauty of what lies within and around us. and trust in everything that you're going through for yourself please find peace within yourself please find peace make peace there's a lot of people in a lot of pain physically with their physical ailments there's a lot of people going through a lot of pain with family members I've had a, a couple share with me, they've had to completely let go of siblings and they've had to completely let go and help. It, 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 and, okay, there's a big shift and release. There it is. What was hidden behind the scenes is now fully out. Can I say, it was always there. It's now been fully exposed. The time is ripened. The fruit is completely ripe. It's all been exposed energetically. Good one, Savion. <coughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> there it is. <coughs> it's intense. Big release. We went through a big pineal upgrade last night, and that's happening now. Again, thanks for being here. Thanks for being here with me. Nice one, Joanne. Find your peace within. You can bring peace to all. I'm looking one now for myself. Peace is the flower which grows within us. <laughs> it's up against my wall. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, please. Find that peace for yourself with everything you're going through. You can do this. Okay, there's a big release, higher heart shift. So how do you feel about Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide name, Resonations? How do you feel about that? I'd love to, um, it just feels what it's meant to be. It's, it's, it's a big one for me to shift the name. It, it was Blue Beyond Infinity two years ago and I actually closed that, I still have that open but I close that and open Blue Beyond Guide so I'm trusting I will be able to keep here open with Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide and change the name I'll work it out but I'm just tabling and sharing okay I um I'm clearing energies and nothing else coming, so I'm just taking a moment. To see where I am to go from here. Remember, this is the ancient Pandora's box of family energies that we've never been at this place energetically before, and that's mankind. Now, I can say that because I know through experiencing, yes, ancient future scribe, mother of dragons, grandmaster energies, all of those energy labels, you could say, that I own in who I am in being raw and real with you, that all the old loops are finishing because all my writings from 2014 
onwards uh, are for now. So that's how I actually know this is proof, this is true. This is not just someone just saying, okay, now spirit is shifting me to other spiritual people. Here we go, here we go. What are you, what are you showing me? I want us to send love to those that have platforms with others that are doing videos and writings to find unity, to share their heart space and to come out from behind the scenes and the shadows of their shadow energies. Because we need to find a new way to move forward and you and I are doing it here in, in communicating with others. Okay? So others may be in that 5D shadow energy helping humanity shift into the higher vibration. So it's very interesting. Trying, I'm keeping it as simple as I can because it can be quite complex if, and don't go into the head, just, just its energy, its visions. So just sending beautiful streaming love out of our hearts, golden guy, a heart portal out to all other souls assisting others to send them love and strength. I'm going to share a little bit spirit saying I need to share a little bit about what I'm bringing through with the Uluru here we go how exciting you're going to get a little bit of a <laughs> insight all right here we go so the Uluru gathering what the event that is being held with Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide if I'm able to change that name and keep this group will be called Uluru gathering free from domination, free dom, free from domination. 21st of the 12th, 2020, global event. It'll be a new umbilical galactic cord connection, a rainbow serpent divine feminine connection, a higher consciousness upgrade pineal third eye linked with solar plexus of a powerful solstice gateway. Free of domination, inner sovereign divine healing, pineal third eye higher consciousness upgrade, umbilical cord pineal to solar plexus, new umbilical cord universal galactic connection, rainbow serpent new solar logos connection, new divine feminine connection, new cosmic abundance. From Oz of the Emerald Crystal Energies. Because the first emanation of the primal, primal sound field which represents the first individuation of the God source is the Emerald Order, a part of the Cosmic Trinity. These guardian groups are from the God worlds and oppose deception, mind controlled and slavery of all forms and thus protect spiritual freedom. Known as the founders of the Christos races, the Ayani Graal lines that include the Orophim, the Emerald Order, are the founders of the interdimensional free world councils to ensure that all souls lost in the fallen or phantom matrix are returned back to God source. That's from Ascension Glossary. Even if you don't fully understand that, it's enough to get an energy field feel on that. Many of us are from the Aboriginals of the originals from past lives and can feel a coming home energy with Uluru. And you maybe cannot explain it, you just will know it and feel it. So I'll be bringing through Emerald Energies from Uluru, from God Code Trinity Energies, part of new golden DNA upgrade energies anchoring as well on the 21st of the 12th. There is a lot to this that's why I'm telling you so much now bit by bit free Dom free from domination Anastasia blue beyond guide it is the energy portal that's bringing up this new platform with all of you as well now we've just clicked over to 40 minutes I am now starting to get a bit of a wind up with spirit so I'll see if there's anything else no, Natalie, it's bigger than big. And the thing is, we're breathing. And we're going day by day. 
So then by the time we get to the 21st, it's a natural progression. And then we keep going with this. It's not going to be, oh, everything's got to change over this. No, we keep going. We keep going. We keep going. We keep going. I've been keep going for a quarter of a century. And you for as long as you have consciously. So we keep going. So it's shift out of the head and the mind. And it's to become more spiritually mindful consciously. And they're just showing me an upgrade. Third eye pineal right now. Just feel a tingling here. Trust yourself. Very different today. Free from the dome, yes. Uh, the dome was actually cracked earlier this year of the dome of energy over Uluru that I took us on a tribal walk, Savion. So it'd be good for you and I've shared before and I can't go over and reshare so souls you need to seek for yourself um, here on Blue Beyond Guide Facebook page YouTube all the videos it's much easier to see all the videos and, and it'll write Uluru and, and we the dome cracked and we release the freedom energies we've done so much already Very interesting, Vicky. The human part of me needs to see the freedom in the outside world. Ah, oh, darling, that's a mind trap. That's a mind trap, sweetheart. Be careful of that. You need to have feel the freedom inside of you, inside of you, for it to flow. Watch, watch that, Vicky. Not having go at you at all. You know that. I don't work like that. But just be careful of saying you need to see it. We're seeing it now in bits and pieces. But bless you for saying that. For whatever that is. No, I didn't, Kylie. Beans boomerang in the in the Aboriginal. That's beautiful. Head down. Keep going. Yeah, you may be disappointed. I'm shifting that energy of what you wrote there, Vicky. I hear you, I know what you're saying, but on another level, I'm just shifting that energy. Beautiful magpie walking across my grass as they do <laughs> here in Australia. <laughs> it's the beautiful, okay. So, okay, so what I'm doing now is winding this up the rainbow serpent energies. Protection, protection. This is a grandmother elder's energy with pink andara crystal healing as well with the rainbow serpent coming through. Because we're also healing the grief of the originals, the aboriginals, with what happened when Australia was settled, with white man's arrival. We're also healing the energy with Azaria and Linda Chamberlain as well with what happened there. I'm not going into any of that. There was a dark witch energy and this, that, what happened. Please, I'm not into that energy at all. We stay in the light of the highest, highest purest source highest vibration thank you for being here with me today i need to go i need to close this energy off because it's an open space so what i'm going to do is bring a new solar logos energy in right now picture a beautiful sun a beautiful sun energy and see that come in right now can you see the golden sun and i want you to place it right here right here in your solar plexus bring that in there there it is Breathe that in, feel that. And keep picturing that sun in your solar plexus. That's your place of power and empowerment. And that's a golden gift right now that's been brought through you live. Bring that into your solar plexus. You can do it that quick with that vision. You've got it. And keep visualizing and anchor that in and anchor that in. You've so got it. I love you so much. That's it, Kylie, that picture. I love you so, so very much. Thank you again for coming on. Spirit keeps thanking everybody for being here and going through. There's so much love and support here and I'm here with you. And as I say, we hold hands and we jump puddles together. We keep our feet on the ground with our eyes on the stars and we remain very real in our consciousness. 
and an unconditional love starting with you firstly if you knew how powerful that is to reach humanity you would stop all bullshit and you would take a moment to stop and honor you for being here right now in love divine unconditional love faith and trust and just be you is enough in this moment and that goes out to everyone else i love you and i will see you soon